Hi Samper, today it's, I'm going to show you a quick tip and trick how to use those new little embossing uh, frame folder. I was playing with that today and I really didn't like what I was coming up with. I'm going to show you why. Um, get a tough time to see on this one. Let's see this one here. See the big line that I got here? That's where my frame was finishing, not the frame, I should say, the folder. So I'm going to show you how I did it that you see the, the line of the folder and then the right way. And we get two different, we get the oval one and then we get the rectangle one. They're very awesome. They emboss a perfect place to put a greeting. Okay, let's do the no-no way. Let's say you want your frame over here. You would put this here. Let's roll this through. I'm going to roll this. And look, it was crooked, but it's even better, so then you're going to be able to see. See, I got all, I think you can see it very good, all my line of the folder. My frame is very pretty, but then you don't want this, and really, you don't want to have to cut that. That's the beauty of those uh, folder. It embosses, it raises your frame. So I'm going to show you how to do it without getting that the line of the folder. You're going to take your piece of cardstock and you need an edge flat. So you need to get, so you would have to have it there or you can have it there or in the center, but you need one edge completely equal with your um, paper. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to put it off a little bit because you're going to see we're not getting that edge there. So I'm going to put that there. And then here's another trick. When you put that on your uh, plate, you get your big platform. And then I don't want one. I don't put no tab on it. You get your big platform. Well, I did the sample with the tab one. I might as well do that because you're going to think it's a different of the tab. Let's say you want the tab one. It's just going to engrave it more. You put your clear plate. You put this over here. In your mat, see the cardstock, it's facing up there. And then this, your second plate, you're going to start it at the same spot than your folder. So I put it a little bit off and a little bit off. So then I won't have the line of the folder because I don't impress on it. Here we go. Just off a little bit. And then when you start rolling, it feels kind of weird because it want to push your folder. Just hold it tight and roll it. Voila! You get your perfect frame, no lines at all. So that is it for this little tips. And uh, I did one here. I didn't like the spickle on it. But I got another one right here. Look, I don't have no lines whatsoever. No line at all. Well, this is it for my tips and tricks for today. Till next time, have a great day and happy stamping.